What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, our force under Elias Haskett is still driving south through Central America and has hit the territory of Antigua, which we can take from the new Spaniards. I mean, ultimately they've not actually got that many new, many territories left. They have Panama and they have, and they have Bogota, so uh, soon the continent will be ours, but first of all let us attack the city and knock out this force. Um, then we can start to uh, consolidate our position and then s potentially send troops to India because uh, we have not started fighting in India. It might be interesting to uh, expand, especially as the Marathas have done a, jo a good job of taking the entire continent. So they've not just taken... Uh, well, Mysore is the big one. They've not just gone around and taken everything outside of the territory. They've actually gone and uh, taken Mysore as well. But... Hmm. So my guns might stay back here. Firing at range. The Hessians, including the von Losberg infantry, will take up the left... will be... Take, make up the left flank. Our other forces, including the 33rd, will be on the, the right with some infantry. Split up our... We should keep our bulk of our cavalry on the right because that's where the, the clear ground is. Which means we'll keep our bulk of our pikes left. General in the centre. Yeah, my guns at the back just open up however you like. go just just make them run up with all speed although there's likely to be some flanking on the right my pikemen have got into the line just move up so my gun is back here um just engage garrison line, just regular line, just get some kills, don't worry about the guns, they will fall in due course. My cavalry can push up, they should have probably done so a bit earlier than that. But there we go. These men push up because our infantry may, get, may attract the attention of the uh, their light cavalry. Although if it does, we'll probably just drop into squares. Yeah, my pikes have getting have been getting hammered. So let's let's get the pikes out and let's spread my Hessian line out. Although that wasn't very. There we go. So there's the light cavalry in. Don't worry about them. Probably going to get suffer some kills from my own troops there. So drop one into square. Charge forward a pike unit into this cavalry battle. Sadly, they have tagged my men. There we go. Cavalry here have been shattered, so... There we go. Pikemen will make quick work of the cavalry here. They are making quick work of them, holy moly. So the, that militia is going to go down pretty quick. Spread you fellows out. Get my artillery to start to pound the colonial line of foot to the rear. Don't really need my cavalry to chase them down. 
The end will be near anyway. Yeah, they are shattered as well. Let's get my cavalry far down the right because we may end up chasing them down. We've spotted their bowmen. Okay, you guys are not in perform not in position. The centre of our line is a bit vulnerable because the 60th and the 59th have lost a bit of mass. Uh, however, there's a distinct impression that that's not going to be a permanent fixture. Especially once we clean out the Bowman Auxiliary down here. Let's actually make these guys run. Can't help it. It's such a delightful thing to see. So this central mass of men here are going to be a very upset because they're being fired upon from so many directions. Yeah, we don't need to take out the enemy, but we're going to anyway. Yeah, I mean they they were always going to break because it would be they'd be seeing volley after volley after volley slam home. And there's only so long they can take that for. Those guys are going to escape. You try and get as many of them as you can, and then slam into the militia, the colonial light. Just get as many militiamen as you can. For no other reason than to build up experience, because these two units are completely untouched. So you guys, less the pipes, stop firing. Charge in. You men push up to take position here. Come on, run into the mass of men here. Then you guys can fire at will after I pivot you. Because that is a lot of guys. Um, I could get the general involved, there's not really any point. Keep pushing the men up. Too many for that small gap, but there we are. Water unit. Engage the 3rd Regiment of Foot. You may as well chase those guys down, because they've got longer to route than the, uh, the men that are going to go up here. So yeah, my skirmishers are... Still loading and firing. We got 22nd and the 21st are in. Well, lucky my men are not ready to fire. Although they might still be shot at. Well, they will be. We continue. Handful of men died there. Let me get a speed up time. Yeah, kill the colonial line. Eight left for this unit, six. 
five. Come on, three. Two. Nah, he's going to escape. Go hit the eighth regiment. You've got four men to kill. Good, now they're done. They can also come down here. To be honest, they better all work on one unit, otherwise they'll never successfully destroy any one unit. Uh, let's stop the artillery from firing, because it's probably going to either kill my own cavalrymen, or it will destroy their own guns. Come on. Because the cluster there is a handful of guys to the right. Every time, just knock out a few. Ah, they escaped. Nuts. Still, it's a good victory. That's another territory taken for our empire. And I don't think they've got a lot to uh, be able to resist us. Soon the entire continent will be ours. We still need to build up this force a bit before we attack. The native factions, especially as their army, this army is made up of so many uh, militia units. Build a couple of new techs. In which case, Cambridge, once you're done with free trade doctrine, you might move straight on to light infantry doctrine. Try and get platoon firing. Let's get the increased training level for our infantry units. Your yeah, you're still building up your force. Let's hit end turn. See a little priest is running down to be our spy, but then once he's down to Bogota, ooh, France is going to push on Amsterdam, but will they take it? They have. That's brilliant, because then that means the United Provinces, both in India and in uh, the Americas, are now up for grabs. So that means San, um, Hispaniola and Curacao can be can be taken. Aha! Okay, good. They just besieged Boston. I mean, I'm I'm absolutely so thankful that they've decided not to land all the troops they've been storing up. So, in terms of what we can do about that. First answer is not a lot, so you. Two ships and a small fleet. You are a bunch of ships and a medium fleet. So this is the best target down here. It's one fifth rate and a full army, a pretty elite army as well. So let's take you guys. Actually, first of all, let's do let's do my other end of turn admin first. Tech advance. So, Cambridge, don't move on with classical economics. That's what Oxford's going to do. You're going to advance the military side. New Haven, you are going to go for 10 turns, 10 turns, 12 turns. Because you can't be made any better. Hmm, Carronades might be your level. Um, Morocco has grown. Okay, let's get a general to to command you guys, and let's build. Yeah, no howitzers here. Um, okay, let's get cobbled roads, tented farms, then let's hop back over to the Americas, let's get government building upgrades, upgrade the farms, upgrade the roads, your 
Yo, this brig's going over to Camp Campeche, Campiche. Let's upgrade these two farms in Mexico just to uh, drive the growth of new cities. A new port upgrade would, would be nice, but there's no immediate need because they are ex meeting all their export demands. Your Lordship. To be honest, I'm probably just going to send the spy down there. There's my... You march up to Campiche. We're going to build a... Oops, nope, we're going to build a sloop to get you back over to Europe. The United Provinces have been destroyed. But what that means is that her territories, like this territory here, Kyoto is, is, is ripe for the taking. Obviously, we've taken these territories because they lost it to France. Meagild. Meagild plantation there. Coffee and sugar. What adds the best good? Coffee. Coffee. Coffee's slightly ahead. And our production is very biased towards sugar of the two anyway. But what I do need to do take these three ships, sail them out. Let's not worry about upgrading the dry dock because lots of their ships are not that strong anyway. So let's get two fourth rates being recruited and let's balance that with an upgrade to this abundant yield tobacco plantation. Actually, let's have a look at your your roads could do better. But let's upgrade a tobacco plantation immediately. So we can take you guys to uh, jump on and destroy this fifth rate to make sure that this army disappears. Because it's their strongest force. We don't want them getting any ideas. Let's speed up time. So I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when we're a bit more in the action. So uh, see you guys in a second, everyone. And we're back. So we're going to spill the wind from our sails, make the turn. I'm just going to fire a round shot because every time I try and fire a chain shot, even though Sometimes it's in scenarios where it should work. Um, it doesn't. So just gonna let them just drop anchor. Let the fire roll naturally. It's too tempting. It's human. Load. So you fire the remnants of your guns. You make all speed. I might fire that small broadside as chain shot. Huzzah! You can start to fire. Actually, that's pretty good. Slow down, ye fifth rate. Fire! Okay, now you guys might fire round shot, because you're going to be sailing into the muzzle. Okay, let's pivot. The broadside's going to be going to be ready 
slightly too soon, but I'm going to want to fire before their guns fire to try to see if I can dismount any. Oops, wrong broadside. Kapow! Yeah, we do want to make sure the ship goes down. More chain shot comes in from the front. Yeah, she's not going to route. It's easier to just have them fire at fire at will at this point. There we go. General's been killed. And the ship has been taken, which means that that army has now been interred. We can take the fifth ray into our fleet. We've got, there's another fleet to the north, which would be worth attacking, as would this one here. But I want to combine the ships I've got, try to get some level of repairs done. So these guys are going to attack Nassau, and that's fairly inevitable. We do have this force to the north, but that's not going to be enough to hold them off. So what I'm better off doing is really blitzing New Spain, which I can do. So you men march down towards Panama. You men march on to Bogota. Oh god, demand the surrender. I mean, I'm going to auto that. This is a world domination game, so we're going to have plenty of battles. To be honest, I could even try and make, make a temporary peace so I can get an army up there to fight them. But keep one down, probably this army here, waiting to jump onto Panama. New Spain, New Spain, New Spain. Ah, they're allied with Russia. So I don't really want to do that at the minute because I'm at peace with Russia. Okay. Yeah, so they've done some frustrating things up there. So this army wait. Actually, what can I get a... Don't want to leave any ports open though. That's the problem. So what am I... Am I building anything that I can... Knock down. Don't know if that's going to be enough. I want that port. Okay, let's knock down this plantation because that's going to provide us some money. You can get a sloop for that money. And... Nah, I don't really want militia. Can't really get a lot of stuff really for that money. Still, might you have to get a militia unit. So if we hit end turn, this isn't going to be great. <laughs> so yeah, maybe that army that's being built in England might... Hmm, no, well, I suppose it's better, still better to go for Spain. And then any the forces I raise in the Americas can push against India. Hmm... Hmm. Tis a poser. I mean, some forces from the UK will still go to India because they, they've got such unit variety it would be a shame to just spend it all in Europe. But we are going to see that it's... Yeah. So they're combining their fleets following that defeat. We're just going to auto-resolve that. The army's fairly depleted, actually. Especially as they lost another 700 men in taking the city. They're not going to... Withdraw, withdraw. Ah, my little ship. The fleet is lost. No, they took out one of their ships. Yeah, so this is entirely expected, to be honest. Um, but... Once we knock out New Spain, then, then they're ready for it. A, because we're going to have lots of cash. They want peace now, do they? 
No. Like I said, because they're allied with Russia, if I declare on them in future, that will spark off another war in Europe. It's easier for me to fight. As inconvenient it is, as it is now, it's easier to fight now. So they've got Nassau. But we've got... The army up here that could be enough because on the army that's in Nassau now A is broken up and B is now we know depleted first of all though let's keep you marching towards Panama you men replenish let's build the gold mine let's build the silver mine Repair the governor's palace and upgrade the roads. Got so much, so much potential. So, Cuba's going to be down. This let's cancel this building of the warehouse. The church school is going to be destroyed, which is understandable. Uh, our Okay, we've recruited the ships we're going to need. They're going to push south. I think the best thing to do... ...is to recruit a bit of strength here at Caracas. Let's build... ...some sloops out of Antigua to facilitate the movement of troops. If you guys can leave... ...Bogota... Move north to the fort to strike their troops there. You guys keep going down to Panama because they've really got not they don't have a lot of strength left. Let's build try build a sloop so that this army can take San Lorenzo. You this force may be better served. If you build another sloop the army can embark Forward! Fort! so the new men can get to Hologuin because they're going to take Cuba we're not going to get there in time I mean if we did that would be quite the <gasps> ooh we might we might 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 Oh. Nope. March up the road to towards Cuba. Can you actually get all the way back? No, you can't, sadly. Um, okay. Let's do a bit of economy upgrading, because we're going to need to really expand our... Expand our um, military forces. Got top tier roads yet? Quebec? No. Okay, first of all, Mexico. Pick up that plantation. Top tier roads. Don't worry about military buildings. Prosperous port. That's a, well, it's about to, yeah, it's a good one to upgrade. Because Mexico is now going at ninety-seven a turn. Which doesn't... Oh, it has displaced Dublin. So, if I do that... So, how long till you catch up to Königsberg? 98. You're not going to catch up at the current rate. Unless... The Enlightenment really fires things off. Fires things up. Then again, that probably applies to Königsberg as well. It does. Um, but in the long term... In the longer term, Mexico will fire ahead of St. Peter's of um, Königsberg because they do have all these towns that can grow, which will be in 13 turns. Fleet destroyed. Well, it's a very pretty grand way to describe a sloop, but there we are. Get over to Cherokee territory. Sorry, 
Spain, you've become a bit of a sideshow. In the face of, uh, of this aggression. Okay, this fourth rate is going to make its way over to the Americas. Orders. Raid La Havre. Our Highlander Independent Regiments have been recruited. So we one unit of Scots line. Can I get another unit of Scots line? Just because I like it to even. We can't, so shall I get a unit of Highlander Warband? Okay. It's going to be lame to also lose Cuba, but we're going to have to. More Spanish troops are going to the south. They really don't want to lose Gibraltar, but it's going to be fun trying to take it back. Or do I land troops to hit Lisbon? Because the port is currently blockaded, they're going to pick up more troops. They've seized Cuba and deployed reinforcements, and they're also going to go for... Still going for Cuba. Um, let's auto-resolve this fight. Anything more? But we've at least got our fighting troops deployed to the region, which we can reinforce with the troops from Caracas. Okay, if, if that's their game, the army marching up from Bogota may strike west to take Panama to destroy them. So, 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 so. If you go west... You, so it's one, two, three turns for this army two turns for you. Will they get to Bogota in that time though? That's the frustrating thing. You... I mean, your your problem is you're actually diverting off of the roads, but the roads are pretty bad anyway, so just keep doing what you're doing. Um, okay, so I want a sloop to come down to here. It's mighty reinforcement here. Can land the troops off of the coast. Get you back to Antigua, Caracas. You build two grenadiers. You men merge. It's a lot of troops. As long as they don't rebel, that's good. Fleet again. Fleet is a very grandiose way for a single to describe a single fifth rate, fourth rate. Sorry. So these troops still need repairs, but let's combine them in the now. Oh no, it's the Cuban port now, isn't it? Uh, Marathon port. For now. Okay. No. 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 I need to go expand my holdings in the Americas. Tobacco and cotton. Okay, let's go for tobacco because we have less of it. Uh, but we do need to really start firing up our economy. So you, we don't need to spend some money. We don't need to spend money on our um, military at the moment. Just keep boosting our economy because again we are now we are trying to grow our, in, grow our um, military power at the same time. And there is an argument to say that we should focus on these government buildings because we are running, starting to switch from a trade-based economy to a tax-based economy. Highlander Warband have been recruited up here. Yeah, but looking at the timer. Actually, do is it? Yeah, looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Actually, I might quickly hop over just to make sure my army's here in the right place. Cool. Um, but we can't really do any fighting at the moment. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for 
probably the death of New Spain and likely a bit of a scrap around the Marathas here in Cuba. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>